So I am moved in in the sense that my stuff and me are currently in this room. <laughs> However, I have not unpacked yet because I actually really need to move the furniture around. Like whoever lived in this room before me was a complete maniac. Like I have no idea why you would set up your space like this, but this is the way the space is set up. So it's up to me to move things back around. I think I'm gonna start with taking down these shelves. Luckily, I can take them down. That's totally allowed. And I can put them up somewhere else, but they need to go because it means that I can't actually put any furniture other than my desk against that wall. And that is completely ridiculous. Like that cannot be the way it is. So I'm gonna do that first. <laughs> like ugly holes in the wall and I'm honestly not sure what to do about it other than like filling them with spackle like I'm not sure but I'm gonna deal with that later and just keep going because the shelves need to come down either way I just wrestled with this wardrobe for the past 10 minutes trying to figure out like why can't I move this thing it doesn't seem that heavy like is there something that's like attaching it to the wall has it been like painted over like why can't I move it it's freaking bolted to the wall um luckily I have a screwdriver and I am very determined to get this thing where I want it to so uh, <laughs> Uh, if my college is watching this, uh, click away because I don't think that this is code. So as we watch this wonderful montage of me pushing around heavy furniture, I think there's no better time to talk about how I decide where to actually put the furniture in my room. Because that's like one of the most commonly asked questions I get on these kinds of videos and like I totally get it. This tiny little space has to fulfill at least four purposes. Like I sleep here, I work here, I get dressed and ready for the day here, and I prepare and eat food here. And like, if I'm lucky, I'd really also like to relax. And the space also has to store all of the belongings that I'll need throughout the semester and accommodate this little guy's needs. And if at all possible, I'd also like it to look nice and feel nice to spend time in. And like, yeah, there's a lot going on in here to balance and manage. But if I'm going to be honest, I don't really know how to explain how I make it all happen. I kind of just go by vibes and trial and error. But the fact that I am not equipped to explain it to you does not mean that there isn't an explanation out there. Like there are actual real professional interior designers who can teach you how to do this. And one of the best places you can go to find them is the sponsor of today's video, Skillshare. You probably already know that Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes teaching creative skills, entrepreneurship, and personal development, but they also have classes on interior design. These are a few of the classes that I've taken since joining Skillshare, and they've not only taught me some new things, they also just explain the actual design principles behind why what I do works so much better than I could ever explain it. So if you're inspired by room makeovers here on YouTube, but feel stuck when it comes to actually replicating them for your own space, or if you just want to dive into the variety of classes Skillshare has to offer on everything from illustration, film and video, cooking, marketing, time management, and so much more, don't forget to click the link in my description where the first 500 people will get access to one of Skillshare's absolute best offers. 30 days completely free and 40% off your first year of a Skillshare membership. And thank you so much Skillshare for sponsoring this video! Ah! <laughs> And there it is, a much more human and normal dorm layout. 
I feel less like I'm in a claustrophobic closet and more like I'm in a room that I can live in. So now I get to move on to unpacking. That was a struggle. So I was looking at this wall that is next to my desk and I was just thinking like, oh, I would really like a shelf to be there because I have a fair amount of like just junk floating around that can't go in the drawer and I want to have like space on my desk to work. So I thought, you know, it would be perfect if a shelf could go there. But these shelves are 47 inches and that space is only 40. So I did some research online and I was like, okay, there's no other shelf in my area that I could just run out and pick up. So anyways, my solution, and I'm very sorry about this because this is such serial killer behavior, but I do have this serrated kitchen knife and I'm using it kind of like a handsaw to um, cut this piece of wood to be the right size. It is working, so <laughs> I'm gonna keep doing it. I think it's gonna take a really long time though.
So I think, Jesus Christ, Chalupa. Okay, so I think that I have pretty much got the organization of the room itself where I want it to be. So I am going to take all of these decorations and finally get them up on the wall.
and there it is. As finished as we're gonna get. I am very satisfied with this. I think that the decorations are super pretty and like, for now, at least the space itself, with a couple of caveats, seems to be pretty good and functional and like everything is operating as it should. So even though this space is really small, I'm gonna give y'all a quick tour just to show you around and walk you through what I've decided on. This right here is all of Chalupa's stuff, <laughs> all of his food, quite possibly the largest collection of churu in the continental United States, his toys, very special catnip spray, even larger jar of catnip, some poop bags, everything that you need to keep a little guy happy. So I've got my colored pencils, I've got like highlighters and pencils, I've got brushes and markers, some fixative spray, papers, palettes, Posca markers, all of my gouache supplies, um, wires, which obviously have like spread, um, a hair dryer, which might not intuitively be art supplies, but I do a lot of painting, so it's an art supply for me, and I also kind of just don't have anywhere else to put it. So, you know, the, the organization in here is kind of questionable, but it, it works out for what it is. But the organization in this drawer is even more questionable. It's essentially like junk toiletries. I've got some like trash bags, makeup sponges, wound wash for my piercings, makeup remover, um, contact lens stuff. Just like, you know, everything that I use regularly or semi-regularly, but doesn't really need a place of pride on my vanity. <laughs> And then this horrible drawer is um, packed full of even more junk. We're not even going to get into it. A lot of it is like hardware left over from moving around the furniture and doing the shelves. Um, it's just, I don't use it very often. Um, it's just everything that I don't want to lose, but also don't need to, uh, again, give a, give a place of pride on my desk. <laughs> And then um, on my desk, we've just got a lamp. It's from Ikea, I like it a lot. We've got just a little jar of highlighters and pencils and things that I use on a daily basis. This little basket that I made out of cardboard and twine as an art project and now just contains little hair ties and bobbins and stuff. And my Dirt Gems Oracle deck, which I keep here in an attempt to remind myself to use it. A little mirror, a little catnip for Chalupa. I've got some marigold and goldenrod hanging out there drying because it's harvest season and I'm trying to collect things for my natural dyes. I've got my backpack hanging out there with um, some mystery object poking out of it. I think that this is a strainer. It is a strainer. That's actually um, for my lemonade because I don't like pulp. Um, anyway. <laughs> We've got the makeup caddy, which is not exclusively a makeup caddy, like this part is makeup and then this is like all miscellaneous accessories and other tiny things that I don't want to lose so they go in the shelves here. And then we've got skincare and hair care up top here. We've got some fun and funky little glass bottles over there. We've got my precious cabinet of rocks. I. I'm in love with this thing. The shelf arrived super cracked. I don't know if you can tell, but I adore this. I am so grateful to have it here with me. It's just brings me so much joy every day. And then over here, we have got some of my books. This is just the guidebook to my Oracle deck. This is my planner. This is my journal. This is my sketchbook. I don't know if you would call those books. I would call them books. Um, and they're just, Right here for easy access. This huge white box is just full of like random paper because, you know, being a student, you get inundated with random pieces of paper that you are not technically supposed to throw away, but don't really have a good place for in your dorm. So they go in this um, filing box. And then on top of that, we've got darning supplies, you know, embroidery thread, needles, darning sock, scissors, Again, a little uh, cardboard and twine basket just for little miscellaneous objects. And that's the shelf. Very cool, very cool. Moving on to the wardrobe. That up there is Chalupa's favorite sleeping spot. I am no longer allowed to use that particular uh, tote bag. What a good boy. 
eating the catnip instead of my hanging plants. You understand. Anyways, the wardrobe itself, I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty messy and disorganized. Vaguely, I've got bottoms on this side, tops on this side, I don't know. Um, th I think the problem is partially just that, like, this shelf is so low that, like, this has to be really low, which means that there's not a lot of space in between the bottom of these hanging items and the actual, like, floor of the wardrobe, which means that, like, my shoes kind of just have to sit there. They can't go on a shoe rack or anything, so I oftentimes just kind of, like, toss them in there. Um, which leads to the, like, horrible pile of shoes and also a hat and a scrunchie for some reason because things fall. And it's just, like, it, it's messy and it doesn't look great and I wish there was a better solution, but I don't know what that would be. Um, especially because there really isn't a good place for a shoe rack anywhere else in my dorm except for maybe... Like, uh, like particularly narrow shoe rack could maybe fit right there. I don't know. It's not a big deal. I just grab my shoes when I think that it's necessary. Oh, and because I know that people are going to be so worried about this in the comments because I mentioned that the uh, wardrobe was bolted in, in the first place, do not fear. I borrowed a electric drill and drilled it back into place because I understand the reason that it was drilled in in the first place was probably in an attempt to avoid it becoming a tipping hazard. So don't worry, mom. I'm, I'm not going to bring down an entire wardrobe on my poor little body, which, I mean, honestly, that's like an epic, you know, final destination, like, you know, get cut in half on the end of that desk, but <laughs> whatever. <laughs> we, try, we try and avoid that whenever possible. Anyways, moving on to this little kitchen section of my room. Up on this top shelf here, we have my absolute favorite thing in this dorm, which is this water jug. I love this thing. This thing's amazing. If you live in a dorm, and you don't have access to a kitchen on your floor, this is so important to have because like, I drink water, my cat drinks water. I use water for everything, every day, all the time. And it's so annoying to have to like, just have a water bottle that you like fill up in the kitchen and are like constantly running back and forth, like going up the stairs four or five times a day just to get more water. Like that's completely ridiculous. That thing doesn't hold much more water. This thing holds enough water for me to only have to refill it every few days or so, and it's just, it's really nice. I love it. I highly recommend it. I just got mine from Ikea, but we've just got silverware, a mug. Um, normally there's more cups in there. They're all dirty at the moment. Just like, you know, normal dishes and stuff. The frog teapot, a valuable accessory. Um, this is my little first aid kit, but then underneath that, we've just got, you know, tea, paper, you are being so rude right now. Do you see what I have to deal with every day? Anyways, underneath that, we've just got the microwave, the toaster, the dirty dishes bin, paper towels, normal towels, mini fridge, pretty self-explanatory. This wardrobe, I love, it's so satisfying. Like, are we observing how the wardrobe and the dresser have the exact same depth, but then the dresser and the mini fridge have the exact same height? And so it all just flows into one cohesive block of furniture that occupies the left half of my room. Cause I love it. But yeah, it's just got clothes on the first three drawers, you know, socks and underwear, tops, bottoms but then on the bottom two drawers I've actually got the rest of my dishes especially my cooking supplies so like all of my cooking utensils spatulas that sort of thing as well as my pots and pans my tupperwares basically just everything that I only use when I'm preparing food so that it isn't taking up space on the um big shelf there but underneath that in the final bottom drawer is essentially just my pantry. I've got all of my uh, non-perishable food there. So there we go. Nice little kitchen section. This is just a cute little mirror. I like it. Um, well decorated. It has got, I will say this is, this is a stupid, hello. This is a stupid pet peeve, but can you see when you pay attention to the difference in color of the actual wall compared to the reflection of the wall, you can see that actually there's like a slight blue tint to this mirror, which on my skin tone is so freaking unflattering. I wish that I had noticed this in the store. I just got this from Target, but like, but it's a beautiful mirror. And then there's my loom. There's Chalupa. 
Um, and then on the back of this door here, I've just got, you know, ye old collection of command hooks. I've got a couple of baskets for miscellaneous things. Originally there was just one basket and then I added the second because I was like, the first basket is always full. I need a second basket. All the adding two baskets has created is like one, now they're both full. And two, whenever I'm like looking to grab my wallet or my hair clip or my keys or something right before I leave, I'm like searching both of the baskets, which is so annoying, <laughs> but. <laughs> It just is what it is. Chalupa, honey. That being said, this is Chalupa's cat palace. He, for an entire month straight, refused to go into the hammock, so it has turned into a hammock for my stuffed animals. I think that it's a fine and normal use of that object. And then I've just got the classic dorm twin XL bed with, you know, laundry, Chalupa's litter. Anyways, here's the decorations that I did. Um, I think that they're very pretty. Anyways, I am so happy with how everything turned out. I think that it's really beautiful and functional and I'm, I'm just very happy with it. And if you also are very happy with how it turned out in here and you are interested in learning how to make beautiful compositions with wall art or organize your room for the best function and flow or really any other skill for that matter, don't forget to click the link in my description where the first 500 people will get a one month free trial of Skillshare and an additional 40% off their annual membership. That is an awesome deal. I'm so excited to offer it to you guys. And once again, thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. And thank you so much for watching it. I will see you all on the next one. Until then, goodbye.